santos.org get santos now santos linux dvd iso and select a provider close to your location Okay, go to create register virtual machine, new virtual machine, next, the name, use this name, uh, okay, uh, Compatibility is ESXi 6.5 Family Linux CentOS Okay Okay, I'm using CentOS 8 but you can use uh, Other Linux on 64 bits. Next, select the data storage. For server, you can use uh, at least one processor or more. And memory, at least. Uh, one gigabyte or more according to your requirements. The hard disk, for example, 20 gigabytes or, or more according to your requirements. Select the network. I have only one VM network. Okay. video card default settings because this will use only command line interface a CSI controller parallel uh, CD DVD drive data store ISO file upload uh, This is my image. CentOS 8 image. Okay, ready. This is the image for CentOS 8, then select. Okay, so you can verify here. This is the image. Next. Verify and finish. Okay, successfully created virtual machines. Select the virtual machine and power on. Click here. Okay, install or install test or troubleshooting, select install. Select the preferred language. In my case, 
me my guys English continue okay go to keyboard and by default English by default uh, keyboard English, uh, you can add more. For example, in my case, uh, Spanish, Latin America. And you can uh, set priority Spanish first, then English second, done. Now, uh, the location on the time and date, select your location. Okay, then done. So, for selection, choose server to use only command line interface and select hardware monitoring utilities. No Windows File Server, Debugging Tools, No No, No Guest Agents, okay. No No InfiniBand Support, No Mail Server, No Network File System Client, No Network Servers. And select performance tools, now remote management, now virtualization hypervisor, now basic servers, select legacy Unix, now container, select development tools, now .NET Core development, no graphical administration tools, no headless management, no RPM development tools, no scientific support, no security tools, no smart card support, and select system tools. System tools, development tools, Legacy Unix compatibility, performance tools, debugging tools, and hardware monitoring utilities. Okay, done. Go to go to installation destination. Okay, select this, the virtual disks, and just custom, custom, done. You can create logical volume management, but in my case, I will use only a standard partition. Then add with this uh, sign, uh, create a swap. In my case, I will use uh, one, gigab one gigabyte or 1024 megabytes. Okay, but uh, may vary according your requirements. For example, if your RAM memory has uh, 16 gigabytes, the swap can be similar, okay, at mount point. Okay, add another uh, and the mode point will be the root. And don't specify and do not specify the capacity to use the remaining size at mode point. 
Now you have the root with 19 gigabytes and swap about one gigabyte. Done. Accept changes. Go to network and host. Okay, enable the interface, Ethernet interface. Now is uh, now is configured with the DHCP server. And you can change the host name here, but also you can do this on the after the installation. Okay, done. Ignore K dump and ignore security policy. Then begin installation. Now here create the root password. Okay, done. Create the user. The username is this and create the password. Done. Complete the reboot. Okay, test your username and password. Success. Okay, and now the current directory, okay, and access as root super user space dash root password. Success, uh, the current directory is root. Exit to go back the common user and ready. Escape key. Thank you very much.